I had only been at my job for a month when 9-11 happened. And there I was, taking in footage of the carnage. From then on, we spent every day and night with... It was this god-awful tableau of people dying. Seeing this convinced me it was time to finally deal with my own scars. It was time to go back home to Rwanda. Uh, my name is uh, JB Rutagarama, uh, and uh, I am originally from Rwanda, where I was born and raised. And I live in Los Angeles, California as a filmmaker. Uh, and uh, I'm here uh, in New Jersey. I'm here to showcase my film uh, called Back Home. Uh, and uh, I'm happy to be here. It's, it's such a difficult topic to talk about, um, and genocide does happen, it has happened, and it will happen again. Um, I, I always feel that it always leaves a, a negative footprint on our society in general, uh, regardless of your social economic background. Um, and it's really, really up to us to not let it take shape again. It's by learning and informing yourself, learning uh, other genocide that happened uh, from anything from the Holocaust to the Armenian genocide to what's going on in Darfur and, and what happened in Rwanda and by identifying the, the, the genocide because it, it goes through this, the, all the stages uh, from propaganda to hatred and so on and then you are, you are able to recognize those signs, you're able to, to identify this is taking shape. And then it's up to the individual to figure out ways to uh, get involved and try to put a stop to it. The story about my journey that I made uh, back home to Rwanda for the first time after the 1994 genocide. And um, I'm hoping by showing the film and by speaking uh, that I'll be able to touch on a few students and share some insights on what happened in Rwanda back in 1994. The Rwandan genocide happened in 1994, and it was um, a long-planned genocide. Uh, actually, the pretty much goes back to colonial time when um, when Rwanda was colonized by the Belgians, and, and they had the Belgians had come in and separated the two ethnic groups that were uh, have been in the country for so long, the Hutus and the Tutsis, and they created sort of this animosity between the two groups, and eventually, he. Um, it escalated to the genocide that happened in 1994. Um, it was, it's, I mean, it was all about perpetrate, uh, perpetrate of hate, and, uh, and eventually, just uh, it, it took shape in, in on April 6, uh, 1994. I think, uh, I think the reason the genocide keeps happening, it's, uh, it's, it's quite simple. It's, uh, it's, it's lack of value of human life, um, regardless of with these people are from either the Sudan or Rwanda and other places, uh, in my opinion, I uh, just felt that the rest of the world that doesn't value their, those lives. Um, they're pursuing their economic interests uh, as opposed to saving human life. Uh, honestly, if, um, if the genocide in Darfur was happening in, a, in another country, let's say in Switzerland, of course it wouldn't, have, it wouldn't, it wouldn't take this long to stop it uh, because the 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 G eight I mean the, the the Western countries they identify with a country like Sweden, um, but they don't identify with Sudanese, uh, and so therefore, it's it's just human nature. They they don't feel like it's it's, a, it's their problem. It's a problem out there. 
I, I'm very passionate about showing the film and uh, talking about genocide because it's my hope that if um, every person got a chance to learn about what happened in, in, a, dif in a distant land somewhere else in a, at any given time, they're able to recognize the signs, the early signs uh, that take shape before a genocide take place. And then those people will be able to hopefully uh, put a stop to it. I think after watching my film, um, students will definitely be conflicted. Um, it is, uh, it's, 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 it's obviously uh, uh, a genocide, and it's not, it's not light. It's not something you take lightly. Uh, but the one thing unique about my film is because it's, uh, it's personal. It's very unique in the sense that you, you don't just put the numbers of the 800,000 people that died in the genocide, but you at least identify with one, and uh, through that you get to learn on a personal level on, on what exactly happened in a country and then you can relate to that uh, to that respect as opposed to just overwhelming number which automatically that makes you uh, shut down. I think that's the one thing uh, unique about this film. Um, the genocide has affected my life tremendously. Uh, it, had also, it has also shaped my life. Um, I'm a lot more aware of what goes on around me it was, it's unfortunate that I had to go through that experience to become the person that I have become, but again, it's really all relative. Um, I can't expect um, a person in uh, somewhere in America to have the same experience that I had. But to whatever degree, it's basically it's to whatever cards you, you, deal, you dealt with in, in life, that's how you adjust to it. And um, I'm actually, I can't say that I'm glad the genocide happened to me, but it's unfortunate. Uh, but I learned from it, and um, I'm, I feel like I'm here to shed light to what happened and in the hopes that maybe uh, I'll be able to, uh, with my story, I'll be able to help another generation somewhere along um, at some point to not go through what I went through. Thank you.